god, look at that. There's no glare on my eyes. <sighs> Maybe I should take my glasses off more often. I'm fighting with this uh, glare constantly to see if I can uh, get rid of it, but there it is. I don't know. I, I think I hide behind my glasses. Anyways, I really have something that I'm gonna, it's a big topic of mine. I talk about it through my Instagram and my Facebook and I didn't wanna put it on YouTube until I felt really confident with all the data I have. And there will be more formal data coming out as I'm doing a survey in regards to this topic. But my topic is female transmission. And from what I've seen over the last two years, there's a pattern and um, it's not talked about. And I think it's not talked about because it puts a lot of shame on bisexuality of men. So as a result, women are blamed um, for transmissions of HIV. Okay, let me tell you some facts that I know about female transmission. First of all, I did not give it to my partner, Eric, after one year of him being exposed to me. One entire year. So if HIV is so easily transmitted from women to men, why after one year did I not give it to Eric? You know, people say that that's luck. It's not luck. I have over 160 women on my private page and more than a hundred of them, I believe, can attest to the same story as mine. Some as long as 18 years of marriage and they know who they got it from after. Well, actually they knew they were HIV positive. There was no treatment at the time. So their husband was exposed to them while they had no antiretrovirals. Many, many, many of them had very high viral loads, including myself, and still did not transmit. Women who didn't know they had it, their husband was exposed to them for 10 years. They, then they realized who they got it from because they found out. And so that was another man exposed to a woman for 10 years no transmission. Um, I recently had a woman that came to me seven years, no transmission. I have many, many, many women who have experienced exactly what I have. They get diagnosed, they're with a partner. These partners are not getting HIV from these women. And it's not luck, it's anatomy, okay? You have to think about how what a penis is. It's almost like a foot or an arm. It's not a vagina and it's not an anal opening. Anuses tear. It's very delicate skin. And that's how the virus gets in, okay, for the most part. Vaginas are easily torn. Women get everything, unfortunately. It's just the way we're built. But a penis, hmm, it's skin. You can't put HIV through skin. You know, you could wipe HIV all over my arm, blood, everything. It's not going to get into my skin. It has to go through an open mucous membrane. Penises don't have this. And they say, oh, what about the urethra? It can go up the urethra. Okay, think about physics. How, and first of all, vaginal secretions, the viral amount in vaginal secretions is very, very, very low as it is. It's not like blood and it's not like semen. So as it is, it's already low anyways. And so then how is it going to climb up? Think of physics wise. How's anything going to go up a urethra? And first of all, semen's going to come out of that anyways, and it's going to kill anything if there was HIV even surrounding it. I mean, how many women are running around with HIV? This is not that common. You don't, these women are, it's not like herpes. They're not all, you can't find one on every corner. I don't know anybody. You know, I only know the women in my group. It's not like I've got, my aunt had HIV and no, nobody has it. I'm like very uncommon. It's very uncommon for women to have HIV in general. So for a man to come across a woman who has HIV is already incredibly uncommon. Okay, then they would also have to be virally uncertain depressed, so this means that the woman didn't know they had it, and they say that one out of seven people don't know they have it, so that means the other seven do know they have it, which means more than likely they're being virally suppressed, and we already know that if you're virally suppressed, you can't transmit it anyways. That's for men, I feel, but for women, I don't feel like we're transmitting it regardless of viral suppression or not. That's how I feel. That's what I see. So what I do find, and there's so many little facets to all of this that just all adds up to the same thing that women are not transmitting, okay? I go to these conferences, and I've talked about this on my Instagram story and my Facebook, and, um, you know, I've been to three so far, two USCAs and one in Amsterdam. And, you know, the general public doesn't go to these conferences. You don't go unless you have HIV. So who do I see at these conferences? I see probably 80% gay men, very obviously gay men, okay? And then I see women of color, and there's a few women like me. I'm the minority for sure. If there's any men there that are hetero, from what I've seen, they were born with it. I haven't seen any even drug users, you know, that have it. And that's obviously another possibility. 
if women are giving HIV to men, if really truly are giving it to them, and then the, 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 what I always hear from the few men that contact me that are HIV positive who say they're hetero and got it from a woman, they either say, I have no idea who I got it from, or they say, I must have gotten it from a sex worker. Okay, so they're talking about a one-time ordeal that they must have gotten it from a sex worker, yet I was with somebody for a year who didn't get it from me, and all these other women who didn't give it to their partners. Even the CDC says, and I don't know where they get this calculation from, but they say one out of 2,500 exposures to a woman that you have a risk of getting HIV, or four out of 10,000. And even that in itself is like ridiculously low. It's 0.0004%. So you have to even look at that, what they say. I think it's even less than that, but they even say it's ridiculously low. So for all these men that want to say that they got it from women, think about this. <laughs> think about these conferences and who they're made up of. W where are they? Why aren't these conferences listing them on their flyers? Why aren't they listing them in a session? Why isn't there a session for them? Why are they not spoken about? There is nothing said about HIV positive men who are heterosexual, nothing. It's not brought up. I think the only way it comes up is in small circles of women, they might talk about it quietly. But here's the thing. I have 160 women on my private page now, and I can confirm without a doubt that probably 80% of them have been through an experience like myself where they exposed somebody unknowingly and did not transmit it. Okay, another thing, there is no doctor who sees 160 HIV positive women. I feel like I have access to information that no one else has seen. And I also have a platform now with YouTube to talk about this information and hopefully educate people, educate women so that they can look for signs and not be at risk. Many of the women who contracted HIV um, got it from men that they trusted, that they were married to, that they didn't know these men were out having sex with other men. So that's how far people will go to keep the secret. And it's really easy just to blame women for sure. It's like, oh, it was just a prostitute just a sex worker. It was, sorry, but that's what they say, prostitute, whore. That's what I always hear. And I'm like, um, excuse me, it's sex worker. And I don't believe it. I don't, I really don't believe it because how could these women that I know have gone so long and never transmitted? It does not add up at all. Say, so, oh, but in Africa, it's like, it's a heterosexual problem and it's 50% male and 50% female. Okay. Also in Africa, there's not one study about male to male sex, not one. And it's illegal to be gay in Africa. You could actually be killed. So you have to think about those two factors as well. So when you add all these things up, it all adds up to the same thing to me that women are not transmitting this virus. Think about the anatomy, think about these conferences I go to, think about all the women I know that haven't transmitted, think about Africa and that it's illegal to be gay. I even just read some man wrote to me today and said he's from the Middle East and in the Middle East women and men aren't allowed to like really be together and hang out so the men choose to have sex with men. Men were put here on this planet to reproduce. That is their number one goal. They got to get that job done. And yes, they want to have sex. That's okay. And I don't care who they have sex with. I really, really don't. I don't care if they have sex with their hand, their neighbor. I don't care what hole it goes in. I don't care who they're having sex with, but don't blame it on a woman or women in general, because we are being victimized as an HIV positive part of this community. And we are being criminalized unnecessarily when we are not transmitting this virus. I really believe it, with all my heart, with everything that I've seen, that women are not transmitting this and nobody wants to talk about it. And I'm fed up with what I see and I'm not going to shut up about it. And the evidence has been in front of my face for the last two years over and over and over again. So again, this is not to put down bisexual men. This is not to put down gay men. This is only to protect women. I just can't be quiet about this anymore. I will continue to put out more information about this and what I know about it. And I hope that it wakes some people up. We need to think about more about the men that are giving HIV to women. And they are not hetero men getting it from other women. I truly believe that if it's happened, if it's happened because there's some people that would go to their grave and say that their husband got it from another woman, then maybe there is an incredible,
incredibly small percentage that it can happen to, but it is so small and finite that it's not worth the stigma that we're getting. And not only that, if you look at any of the charts that talk about heterosexual, um, like of who is contracting HIV, they don't even have a pie piece chart for heterosexual men. That's how uncommon it is, or that's because the CDC doesn't want to even recognize it and say anything about it. They just say heterosexuals. They don't say anything about heterosexual men. They tried to collect data that I can, and I can't find it. So it, because it doesn't exist. Okay, so I'm finishing this off with my glasses. I feel more comfortable with them on. Um, I know what I know, and you either believe it or you don't. So take it or leave it. But it's really time for people to wake up about this, because we are not transmitting this virus.